What's going on? YouTube Flinchor14 here again. I'm back here playing more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Last time we left off, we were on Planet Namek. Pickle has finally arrived on Planet Namek because we wish him back with the Planet Namek Dragon Balls. We used two of the wishes to teleport Pickle to Namek and bring him to uh, and bring him back to life. And then um, the third wish we couldn't use it because Purunga randomly disappeared. Then we figure out Grand Edward Guru has died. So now Pickle's in the fight against Frieza. Uh, Pickle has a uh, Pickle has a huge chance to go against Frieza because he's been training with King Kai. But first, it was Gohan, Vegeta, Krillin versus Frieza in, in Frieza's second form. They did not stand a chance, but when Pickle arrived, Pickle had a big chance. Jump gone. Had a big chance of going against Frieza in the second form, but when Frieza transformed to the third form, uh, Pickle just had no chance. And Pickle just lost really then uh, Frieza decided to go to his final form but Dende uh, the Namekian has been helping them out a lot healed everybody up to full health and all that so that everybody was recovered then Frieza changed form into his final form killed Dende but nobody's still seeing a chance against um, Frieza uh, but Vegeta felt confident he had a chance because um, uh, Krilla shot a, a hole a shot a key blast into Vegeta's stomach so I made Vegeta almost di uh, dead but Dende healed him, so now Vegeta feels very confident he can defeat Frieza. But Frieza was just way over overpowered, overpowered, and overpowering Frieza. Uh, Vegeta. Uh, can't think of words. Sorry, guys. Then um, then Goku got out his healing chamber, went right to the battlefield to um, go against Frieza. Probably get going. Shut up, Gohan. Let me do my intro. You know. Then Goku finally arrived, fought Frieza, but before the fight even happened. Uh, Vegeta felt confident this is the time that Goku is going to become the legendary Super Saiyan. And Vegeta told Frieza that Frieza is not happy with it, killed Vegeta. So Vegeta is dead. Now it was Goku versus Frieza. But then, like, at the end of the fight, Goku was just out of energy and he had to use one last technique, was the Spear Ball. And he got a lot of energy. Then the Frieza figured out what he was doing. The Piccolo, Gohan, and Krillin all helped out. And Goku had the spear ball ready, fired at Frieza, and we celebrated because we beat Frieza. But that's what we thought. Frieza came back, uh, shot, uh, shot Pickle with a uh, beam through his chest, picked up Krillin with a wave, it blew up Krillin, and Goku was not happy. He was done with Frieza. He got ticked off, it became the legendary mm, Super what Saiyan. Can I do now? And now it was the legendary Super Saiyan Goku versus Frieza, and we know Goku and uh, we know Goku just defeated Frieza. So we're finally done with Frieza. Frieza's gone. Then um, with the last wish of the Dragon Balls, because Ash, with the last wish of uh, Dragon Balls with Purunga, because um, we used uh, the Dragon Balls on Earth to uh, come back uh, um, to wish everybody back. The, the Dragon Ball, okay, yeah, the Dragon Balls on Earth because Pickles back. Uh, we used the Dragon Balls here to revive everybody on Planet Namek who was killed by Frieza. So we had one more wish, and then they used the wish to bring everybody back to, uh, wish everybody to Earth, except Goku and Frieza. And then Goku defeated Frieza. Then a couple months later, they used the Dragon Balls again to bring back Krillin, teleport Krillin to Earth, and then bring back Yamcha. Then, um, another, like, six months, that's what how much it takes to activate the... Uh, uh, the making of Dragon Balls. We brought yeah, Tien and Chaozu back, and the the, the Namekians went back to their home planet to Planet Namek. And now we're on Planet Earth, so let's just get to the main story. Sorry that took a little long, so let's just let's reward you guys with the main story. Ah, uh, Mom's always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. Sorry about the uh, sorry about the intro took so long. Um, but yeah, if you want to see a little bit more detail about uh, my intro, just go check the last video out, and um, you'll uh, you'll see it. Man, a live stream? That's not fun. Yeah.
concentration. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. not to notice there's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that this can't be good do you really think it's Frieza well sure seems like it they'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels they have scouters after all the Namekians already lowered his at least one of you is smart Piccolo they're here over there it's Frieza it's gotta be I can't believe he's still alive no, hold on I think there's someone else with him do not fly there got it we can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them you, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power you, you gotta be kidding me what are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! So you cannot fly or fire key blast while moving. Talk to everyone about Frieza's uh, vision. How in the world did Frieza survive? And to think we're going up against him again. Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes! So, this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary.
Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The Mysterious Savior from the Future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! This mystery guy knows this mystery uh, young uh, Sand knows it all. Get your from Super Sand already. I need to work out of it. That took longer than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Was in the fight! There we go. That was quick. Possible. Those two huge powers, they're both gone. Okay, before I continue on, is anybody else very disappointed that we couldn't use this uh, mystery guy? To go fight King Cole, freeze his father. He just came up and just, just key blasted his face and killed him. Like, we should come up, we should have fought King Cole. That'd been more fun. Like, what? What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. Let me have the mystery. That's him, isn't it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. 
I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. What? what? How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So... Can I ask... You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately... I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth, after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. I was gonna be here. This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I guess I'd better go talk to him. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Like me. 
Yeah, pretty amazing. I had more than enough power to overwhelm trees and the doors. I can tell you are serious. Ever attacks, ever attacks. Oh, well, yes, I got it. Supposed to defeat him. I was supposed to? What do you mean? If you only had arrived here earlier. But for some reason, I guess you couldn't come. Well, I wouldn't say that. I know a little technique called instant transmission. Instant transmission? It's over! It's over! No, no! Oh, oh my god. Surprise, my pleasure. I got just go. changed history for no reason then. Changed history. Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No. Better even. Okay. I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually... Now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giraud. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like, back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, 
My father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used. Meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks! Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. you just told me, that's got to be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm going to start training extra hard for the next three years. Just got Chunks' soul envelope. Nice. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. 
If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. We die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yard Rats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yard Rat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> All right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot! You may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right. We better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right. See you guys soon. Or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Okay, let's head to Goku's house now. On the world map. Ice mine has been unlocked. Is that it? Hey, look at it. You, there, there's Dragon Balls here. A Dragon Ball's appeared. A Dragon Ball's appeared. Hey, that's dope. But let's just go to Goku's house. Hey, Goku, do you mind doing a favor? 
Oh. I'll just take out some crazy people. Eh, we'll worry about that later. Let's enter the Goku house. Chee Chee! I'm home! Hi, Mom! G Goku! H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me! You look like you've been doing pretty good! You had me so worried! Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> Goku explains everything that's happened. That's that had uh, just transpired. There you go. I bet. What? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Titi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. All right, since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? Really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. Well, had to head to Kami's place. Let's see, what does Kami need from me? It's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. I was quick to see your shit or anything. Ah! A... <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Get that. Okay, there's a little no thing. Let's grab this little no thing right here, see? Ever receiving a uh, pre-mission from Koran Goku makes his way 
way to Kami's lookout where he arrives. He is greeted not by Kami, but but his um uh, afternoon, Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo tells Goku he will allow him to see Kami if he could if he can best him in battle. Goku gladly accepts the challenge, but quickly finds Mr. Popo is too much to handle. Hearing that, uh, that Kami is even more powerful th than Mr. Popo, Goku is delighted to learn there are people far stronger than him and asks him to train him. To be trained, my bad. Hmm. Oh, there's another thing here. Oh, let's grab this too. Goku is able to defeat uh, defeat defeat Demon King Pickle in the battle, but Shinra is still gone. In order to bring back Frillin and the others slaughtered by the Demon King Pickle, Goku first needs to revive Shinra. He makes his way to Kami, the creator of the Dragon Balls, ho hoping something can be done. Kami resides far above Korin's tower and will only see, only see those who have been given permission by Korin and, and brought his uh, brought his his bell. With the bell in hand, Goku uses the power uh, the power pole to reach Kami's lookout. Korin's bell. Huh. I feel like I've seen this bell before. I think this is what Korin gave me before I met Kami. Hold on, before I talk to Kami, see if I can find any more of this off. Little secret, no thanks. Oh. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Ooh, I cut myself. Of course. Right. Oh, two more, uh, two more right here. Goku's journey to Kami's lookout to receive Shenron, but he is unable to m unable to make it past Kami's abdomen, Mr. Popo. Seeing Goku is determined to best Mr. Popo, Kami allows Goku to bypass the requirement and meet him. Goku is shocked when he first lays eyes on Kami. He's a spirit image of Demon King Piccolo. There's another one over here. After a, 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 yeah, a most... Uh, Almost an entire day, Goku is finally able to reach the top of Korin, Korin's tower. Waiting for him, there is Korin himself, an old feline hermit, carrying a staff. He he says he is more than willing to let Goku drink the divine water. What he really means through is that Goku can drink it if he can get his hands on it. Korin proceeds to prevent Goku from drinking the water in any way he can. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I can see, so let's go talk to Kami. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Kami informs Goku that... The Dragon Balls only have a few uses left. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Yajirobi, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah, what is it? 
Uh, Sinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Get, shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. That's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. Yajiro B explains what was needed to convince Sensu Beams. I don't know how to say that, so judge me if you want to. Go right ahead. Alright then, take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Korin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. Alright, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep, see you later! Oh, here's another, uh, here's another card. In order to defeat the deadly assassin... Uh, well, uh, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. Uh, pop, uh... I'm sorry, this is not, um, who's, uh, I can't remember, who's the guy with the sec? I think he's asked his name right there, but I don't, I also don't think so. It's like janitor, so I don't know. But Goku climbs Corrin's tower to the top of which is, uh, it is said no one has ever done has ever Jerome seen before. Up here all day. At the Train, top of the top. Nah, he doesn't at look like he trains. At the t at the top of the tower supposedly lies the uh, divine water, which great uh, greatly increases the power to uh, of those drinking uh, drink it. But to gain access uh, to the divine water, one first must get past the being like uh, Hermic uh, Hermic Corrin. I remember first met him. He cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. Uh, Intimidated to the best, uh, Allegiant Core and Goku was actually unknowing training himself to become stronger. There you go, finally this is got this done. Water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Korin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I'd better get going. That was a long. Oh, good, another cart. After losing to the Demon King Piccolo, a seriously weakened Goku climbs up Korin Sour once more with Yajirobe's help. Korin ha uh, has Goku eat a sense of being, which instantly, instantly brings him back to the fighting shape. Determined to co uh, confront Demon King Piccolo once more, Goku asks Korin to train him. Okay, so let's jump off this tower. Whee! Okay, that's cool. You just jump and you get to the secret land tower. Uh, the they're yeah, already here in a secret land of corn. How's that sound? Well, corn does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. Oh, there's a dragon wall over this way, so let's head that way real quickly. Okay, I'll go for that thing in a bit. Hey, Gray. Oh, right there. Oh, no, no, I see, I see, I, I see what it. what does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look right like here. he trains. Got the five star Dragon Ball. That's dope. Okay. Go this way. Right here. There it is. Hmm? Something's there. A Cyberman. Want a tango? I'll take you on. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him. He cut that monster clean in two. Yes, yes. Boom. Hold on, I'm gonna be bit. Boom. Let's get it. Huh, I 
see why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. Okay, there you go. Got that. Yeah! You yeah! To the next spot. Okay, I'm gonna grab this stuff down here. See your. And there's uh, the ox king. Hey. Chuchi told me she wanted to cook some fish, so I'm here fishing. <laughs> I caught a whole bunch, so feel free to have some. Oh, nice. We got some fish. Yeah, let's grab this last thing. Hey. All right. This looks like it's it. Back to corn sour. I got what you wanted. Awesome. I knew you'd pull through, Goku. Just wait right there. Hey, corn, look. I got the stuff for you. You nincompoop. You can't pull one over on me. Goku's the one who got it. You're slower than a freaking sloth. Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing or two. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. We just got corn so emblem. That took longer than I thought it would. I better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Okay, acquiring sensor beams, so we got sensor beams now. Welcome back to Sensor Beams already. Use them wisely. Oh, nice, we got a sense of me. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Okay, right here. So that's here. Okay, we arrived. Yeah! Might cause some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. There is Red Ribbon Army uh, Tower. Nice. I feel kind of bad. Oh, uh, hello. All right. These guys are weak. It's robot. Already, here goes. I should before I continue, I just think about this. Um, let's go to party. Uh, let's go to skill tree. Uh, not that. Let's go here to skill tree. Let's, uh, let's get this skill tree up a little bit. Oh, wait, I gotta do the training. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, really in my own time I need to get these up. Like I probably won't use the rock paper, well, rock, paper scissors thing anymore. Super coming on yeah, I want to get that so I'm going to probably get that here soon. Okay, so but let's continue with the main story. So let's go. Get more of the sea orbs on the way too. Gohan's taking a real liking to Piccolo. Those two actually make a pretty great team. Training is going to be great. Can't wait to join them for sessions. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right, time to train. There we go. Oh, I got away from the robot too. Uh, Dad. Sorry about that. Now, what do you say we start out with training? All right. For starters, 
I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Not bad. That's more like it. Come on, go. Just too you off it. Bad. Super Saiyan. And Let's go all out. That's enough to You and I are strong too. Guess you didn't delay your return in here to the entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I got charge up, so. I think I got a lot of damage, but it's fine. Because I try to get you a champ. So I need to keep Super Saiyan, but I'll be good, really. Get this. But not good enough! Oh my god, we're right behind him. What? Way stronger than Piccolo, like, oh my god. Oh, right back to Sam. Not letting me up yet. That's hey, got the fight. <laughs> Fine by me. Need to work harder. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. 
Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. Vegeta, you're yearly going under, undergoing extra harsh training, beginning to make some special uh, arguments. I think, or agreement. I don't know. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Time to find... <laughs> where is that damn geezer at? There it is. Dr. Briefs. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? You'll see. A little shopping. I'm going to push myself further than you and become a Super Saiyan. There we go. <laughs> Let's get this one all the way over here right now. Probably these the orbs on the way too. Oh, Tien's here. Uh, let's see what Tien wants. Hey! What are you doing here? What are you doing? Just standing, th just standing there. Don't tell me the androids have you scared, to, uh, scared sh sh uh, stiff. You got, you got the wrong idea. I don't fear the androids, but the more, tra the more I train, the more I may uh, made aware of the gap between me and the others. Perhaps training isn't enough to keep up, uh, keep up with your sands. Uh, saying that's what got me worried. <laughs> hmm. Sp spook spoken like a true loser. <laughs> loser, I still intend to push myself and improve even even if I can't reach Goku's level. <laughs> hmm. Talk, uh, talk is cheap. Why don't we just sell this right now? I'll show you. I I'm more than just talk. Fight Tien. <laughs> hmm. Fine by me. I'm ready when you when you are. This is very easy, I'll be honest. Prepare yourself. Got a gun. Let's see if I do it. <laughs> I'm fine though. Don't worry about it. I'll just keep on my kicking the end butter now. That's what I'm worried about. Dude, this is like dude, one of the easiest fights I'm, I've ever, I'm ever in. Like he, he's not done any damage to me really. That was making it even worse on him. 
Behind him, so he's just keep him right, no mercy on him. That's kind of shit. There you go. <laughs> you didn't actually think you stood a chance against me, did you? Do yourself a favor and give up while you still can. Damn, am I really incapable of being uh, be of best seeing a sand? Sorry about that. Hey! Hmm. Fight the androids if you want, but you better not get in, in my way. Get in the way, huh? Actually, that's a good idea. I don't need to beat the androids myself. I just need to get in their way to to make things easier for everyone else. I need to continue my training and cast my pride aside to overcome the inferior complexity I I have with Sans. And we just got stuff there. <laughs> Looks like he finally got the message and left. <laughs> Suit yourself. Well, the Z boy, uh, C orbs honey look going well. Okay, we go down here a little bit. Okay, let's continue main story. Sorry for doing that little uh, side uh, side quest. Just showing you guys about it. And this uh, this thing is far. I can think of no greater humiliation than constantly being in your shadow, Kakarot. I'll do whatever it takes to become stronger. Okay, so now I'm just looking for that. There it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, what's going on now? Hey there! You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! I just got to you guys. Oh, get the right Like that. Prepare yourself. Come on, wrong attack, but you know it works. That's what matters. Gotta get a little, get a little thirty-one very quickly. Guys, I'm trying to be sunk for now. Ah, oh, oh, that hurt. Let's go all out here. There you go. Super attack again. So well, hopefully it works. Got a gun. Woo. Just gonna really quick with you. Okay, so 
I don't understand chance against me right now. Well, uh, we need to get down. We need to get down one by one. And goodbye. <laughs> Just hits the floor and kills him. Nice. Damn space trash. Okay, let's go get the other ones. It's so interesting because when I play this game, I'm just like sort of focused like on the story, uh, sub stories, and sort of like the other stuff, but also sort of not. But I keep on forgetting there's a lot more stuff that you could do in this game. Of, of, of um, you could just do a lot more stuff in this game just without just continuing the story. That's why I'm sort of a little weaker than these guys. So hopefully when I'm off screen, there's like when I'm off recording, like I'll probably do some training underground. So. The reason I'll do an off recording will be because um so I don't just use too much of like just video footage for just no reason. Even like it's yeah, it's a series of game uh gameplay walkthrough, it's just um it just uh, makes it a little easier for me and uh it's just a little easier for you guys also. Just uh watch on just gameplay like you guys just wanna know. Got some of these blue orbs, got this pile then. Right there. Head on down. There's Get her. No waste of my time. There you go. Every last item left. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta? What are you doing? Shut up, woman! Leave me be! Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans! Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? Several hours later. You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Shots fired. D damn that woman! This 
place. This is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot. Which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn, that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're about to learn the hard way that never to move isn't enough to reach my level. If that's your level, so it's Vegeta no versus Vegeta. Counter and counter. <laughs> We're just countering each other with that. That's dope. So you got four. Dodge her. Okay, we take this. Right behind. Cool. Or not. Oh, I shoot up. Yes. <laughs> Get it. This is cool though. Old Vegeta versus Old Vegeta versus New Vegeta. Gotta counter hit something. Gotta charge up. Let's go all out. This should do a lot more damage now, so let's get it. There we go, dodge it, and then we're going all out against him again. Or not. Oh no, I'm gonna be weak. Okay, we're gonna one of these. Hey, for my shield. Hello. There we go, that's better now. Crap, I'm low energy. Oh, low key. Stop back in there. Get out here. Let's fight. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. You think your Galaga's better than mine? Nah. Ice nice burner! Go on before he gets here. Again. Yeah, I can't even land before he did that. Second like behind. Let's go on again. Close. Oh my god, I thought he was about to hit me with that. Oof. It's just back and forth, really. <laughs> Combo, really. Good. Wanted to use that Gala guy so I can just charge up. This is unforgivable. What's unforgivable is running away here, wasting my time with you. Ooh, I am super weak. Ah, 
Now we're gonna do the same combo again. Where he's gonna try to hit me if I miss. Then I'm gonna go all out. This is a very good fight, I like it. This is probably like my toughest fight ever. And I win! Oh my god. How did I get an S? I was like one shot. Oh my god. Even myself. I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You. You really know how to piss me off. Oh, come on. I was just messing around with you. More. Huh? You're right. It wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent. Uh, don't you take that tone with me. I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids. You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're real. You know that. Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? For the first time in forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, that was cringy. Kakarot, I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one. Vegeta continues to power everything he has into training, hoping to push himself and achieve even greater power. Goku and everyone else, on the other hand. Ooh. Hey, Chi Chi! We're back! Hi, Mom! Man! We really worked up a sweat today! Goku! Do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? Wait, you guys have neighbors? What? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license! You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? What do I have to? The next day, after catching an earful from Chi Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo. Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? Are we going to drive these cars? Oh, my God, we're actually driving the hover cars. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is awesome! Uh, LT, the brake, dismount, charge to BGM, change direction, move the camera, mirror view, uh, oh my god, change view. This is awesome! Remember, safety first, okay? Alright, let's do this! Hey! First person this view is awesome too. Safety first! Man, this feels great! This, well, this makes no sense. Why is the left side of the road the so right way for the right safety. The, the right side is the oh, way you go the oh, opposite oh. way? What the fudge? This makes no sense. 
Shortcut. I bet this thing can go even faster. We should be able to make it, right? Oh man, look at that view. This is awesome. We should be able to make it, right? Don't forget about safety! Who needs safety these days? Not me! Man, this feels great! Whee! Man, this feels great! No, 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 no! Hey, not too bad! This isn't putting safety first! Woohoo! Like I said earlier, who cares about safety? Nah, but for real, be safe on the road. Don't pull me right now on Dragon Ball Z. I'll just not break. Uh, that's a horn. Beep beep. We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. Here we go, Goku, faster. Here we go. Even when we just choke by a, co a cop. Like, okay. Putting safety first! I'm just safety first. Woohoo! Man, this feels great! I bet this thing can go even faster! We should be able to make it, right? Shortcut! It does! <laughs> How is that? Oh, 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 oh. oh my! Alright! Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo! Oh, wow. Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. W wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Uh, excuse me? With pleasure. <laughs> what? It's on, Goku. Oh yeah, Piccolo? <laughs> And they're off. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo, no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually. There's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so, so you, you didn't actually pass the test? Well, well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. Y you Well, now that that's done... Let's get back to training. Yeah! <laughs> Mom? Whoa, Chi Chi. You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, 
Not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea! Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Bulma. Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. R R and D is, is now unlocked. R and D give all the materials, and she will create a powerful vehicle for you. There are three options available. R and D customized level up. My question is, are these just re like there's no point in having vehicles when you can fly in the game? But it'd be interesting. Goku went back to deliver the good news to Chi Chi. I'm home, Chi Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials! I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. Yeah, we just got all that kind of stuff, so nice. Goku is now level 40. All right, what should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh, yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh... Yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Well, better get going, I guess. Okay. I am going to end the video here, you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, next time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, we're going to head to Kami's house to see what it does Master Roshi, Master Roshi and launch one from us. But yeah, um, I'll say this episode was pretty fun. We just did a lot of crazy stuff that um, I really, like something really new in Dragon Ball Z games. So it was pretty cool. But yeah, um, 
I am sorry if there's any bad quality that has happened in this video. I wish I truly could fix it, uh, fix that bad quality, but I sort of can't right now. Well, I can't for a while actually, uh, because um, what I've been figuring out what the problems I could do to fix it is if I had a cord that that's plugged into my router all the way to my Xbox, and that will help a lot. But I don't because I'm not even close to my router, so I'm just using internet connection. All so right. yeah. What should I do now? So that's why if there's any bad quality issues, um, my internet connection's not doing that well. We're just right there and then. But yeah, um, I'm gonna say it again, but please hit the like, hit the subscribe button. It'd be very helpful to me. Just uh, it improves the channel. It just lets the channel grow. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.